Good afternoon, everybody. Again, it's Lorna Learns from the Chamber of Commerce. I'm here today with Mary Nurse and Barb Winters from Nurse Chef Holds Cadillac. And I'd like to ask you a few questions so the membership can get to know a little bit more about your organization. Mary, Nurse Chef Cadillac has been around for in business for 55 years and also a Whitby Chamber member for 55 years. What do you attribute to the longevity of your organization? Well, we, we do have a long history in Whitby and it all started um, in 1966 with my father. Um, he are early on demonstrate a very strong commitment to community service club participation. And as you mentioned, he was a, a very early member in his uh, business career of the Whitby Chamber of Commerce. He was also a, a mentor of staff and recognize the importance of customer service to its highest level. And um, Barb and I have continued, we believe, with the same pillars and values today as he uh, started business with. Um, but as, as customer expect, expectations change, we have had to adapt to those needs and wants. For example, it's hard to believe, but 10 years ago, we opened our Express Lube Lane, um, involved no appointment, the lube on filter in 29 minutes or less uh, with a mat wash, a carpet vacuum, an exterior wash, and um, a complementary alignment quick check. To top it all off, we had a camera on the lane so that people could see um, the potential wait time. And we, at the time when we developed this initiative, we believed that uh, consumers wanted um, convenience. They wanted us to be respectful of their time be transparent and to add value to every single visit. And uh, based on customer feedback, we've, we are accomplishing that. Uh, but it's ever evolving. More recently, we've um, expanded our in-person um, contacts to contactless experience, both on the uh, sales and uh, service side. And we've even gone to the point of uh, pickup and delivery of vehicles for service as, as just a small example. But when it all comes down to it, it's, it's, it's about the sales and service teams being professional, uh, friendly, knowledgeable, who are here to assist or guide customers through their experience or through their particular, um, their particular visit. Well, after 55 years, you're certainly doing it right. It's almost um, unheard of for an organization or a company to be around 55 years. So that is in itself, congratulations. Uh, Barb, I'd like, you're very welcome. Barb, I'd like to ask you, what attracted you to the business? <laughs> well, I'm sure like everybody uh, that gets involved in, in a business or family business, especially, there's a little bit of a story behind it. Um, so what attracted me was um, I worked at the dealership growing up and, and well in business school. Um, but I did venture away uh, for about eight years uh, as a, in a corporate career that took me out west and, and ultimately brought me back. So I did bring um, some additional experience from uh, an outside organization. So, and within the dealership, I've taken on a variety of roles. Um, and it's what's really interesting about the car business is like running several businesses within one. So it's always evolving, uh, as Mary had alluded to, with, with more so the, the renovation side and some of the recent rollouts we've had. Um, but basically products and models get updated. There's changing technologies, be that in the vehicles or be that within our business as well. Um, we've updated delivery of products and services. And what I find really interesting is the direct communication with the, with the consumer. You can share in their excitement and you can help them to resolve their questions. Uh, and ultimately uh, the objective is, is that uh, everyone's leaving uh, is satisfied with their service visit. So really it's, it's, the, it's the people that attract you to the business. Um, and ultimately it's, it's a really interesting business to be involved in as well. That's good to know. And you're definitely known for your customer service. So thank you for sharing. Um, Mary, what do you like most about the automobile business? I think there's, there's a number of things. I'll, I'll mention a couple and Barb can, can mention a couple. Um, I, I think um, for me, uh, it, it, the number one thing is, is, is um, our passionate staff, um, which of course um, reflects on the opinion of, of our, our customers. But I think the second uh, biggest thing that I, that I like is, is working um, with those from various uh, Whitby community organizations or Durham region organizations, trying to change the lives of other, others. And 
and having the opportunity to actually meet some of the be uh, beneficiaries of either um, financial assistance or you know sweat equity assistance. For, for me, those would be, I guess I mentioned three. So Barb, would you like to add to that? I think it just goes back to that constant, um, constantly evolving or constant change um, that happens within this business. I think that that's something that you, you come in um, and so often there's something that's, whether it's a new program, whether it's new technology, whatever, there's always something that's changing. So you're always um, trying to figure out that and then all, obviously as well as what's next. So but certainly the customer interaction, the, the community relationships you get, those are all amazing things. Always a different day. Um, and lastly, with regards to the company, what is it like working as a mother-daughter team? <laughs> All right, go first. <laughs> <laughs> we both did something else um, early in our, our careers. Um, and so, um, particularly with Barb, you know, that's one of the things that we talked about um, in advance of her possibly um, joining the business. I think um, there has to be some um, distance in, in the workforce before you start actually working together. Um, you know, I was at the, at the point where technology was starting to beat me and I, I certainly needed some assistance. And it's certainly the time when Barb came here, um, I, I was thrilled that she joined the company and she came at a time where um, her expertise um, was of so much value and made such a difference in our organization. On a day-to-day -day basis, if you were up here listening to us um, on our second floor with, with the general manager, I think he'd, we'd drive him crazy with our yapping back and forth, but uh, we have fun every single day. But it's productive. <laughs> it's productive. And uh, from my perspective, um, Mary, as I know her at work, um, is an amazing role model. Um, there are so many things that I've learned through her about obviously running a business uh, because in a corporate career, um, the way that we are, are working, obviously there's, there's a degree of obviously responsibility and working with a manager. But when you step into you know, this type of role where you are um, involved in more facets of the business, you really do rely on those around you. And, and certainly from her perspective, she has absolutely been a wonderful role model. That's lovely, lovely to hear. And Thank you, Brad. We've never had this conversation before. <laughs> Here for <our> ladies. <laughs> um, and now the membership learned quite a bit about your organization. I'd like to go ask you each more of a personal question, so we can learn a little bit about more, a little bit more about you guys. Barb, now that Ontario is slowly reopening, what is it that you're most looking forward to doing? That's a very good question, and I think that there is is some degree of um, whatever, whatever the new normal looks like, but I think I'm just looking forward to being able to go out within the community. Um, obviously we've been fairly restricted as far as what we've been able to do. So I think it's being able to just even go out within those types of surroundings, um, whether it's to a restaurant and be able to sit down and enjoy a meal. Um, obviously patios are now open uh, based on the timing of this, this filming. So uh, I think that uh, that's what I'm pretty excited for, uh, just being able to get out, out and support the local community uh, and enjoy what, what Whitby has to offer. Fabulous. And we certainly have a lot to offer in Whitby. And Mary, I have a little bit more of a personal question for you. I wanted to know when you're sitting in your backyard and you're not working the long hours that you work and you want to throw some great music on, what are you listening to? That's a funny question because I love the silence. Um, oh sitting in my backyard just hearing nature so music you wouldn't even be able to hear um i know that's bizarre but um i think from the type of days that we have in this industry sometimes that total um being in a natural environment and and just quiet is really what rejuvenates me you know what funny enough that's who i am i i, I do like my music from time to time but cottage, lake, backyard. I love the trees and the birds and, and just the peace because I have such a busy schedule. So I totally relate to that. Anyway, ladies, thank you very, very much for taking the time to talk with me on Lorna Learns. It's a fun little project that we started a couple of months ago, and it's just a way for all the business community to connect with one another. So I completely appreciate your time. 
Thank you. Well, thank you for, thank you. for talking with us today, Lorna. I, I love your project. And um, after being confined so long, it's nice to, to talk so, to somebody about something else rather than listening to just a meeting. Right. <laughs> thank you.